What if people don't have the don't like you know they're clean shaven, body clean shaven, you know bald. You have to have some hair to do the testing. Oh, uh, okay. If not, then they pretty much can't come in. All right. right. All you have to do is stay a minute, just take your time. The clock is ticking, so stay. All you have to do is stay. What's up, guys? Lockout Man here, back again with another podcast for you today. And in today's episode, it is the MT. C edition. Yes, sir. It's the edition where I take the time out of my busy day to make these calls for you guys so I can bring the information to you so you can make your decisions when you're coming into this trucking industry. I am your humble host, Lockout Men, and this is Lockout Men's podcast show. What's going on, everybody? So as always, I'm just going to go ahead and get into it without all of the rhetoric. But if you like content like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button so you can get the content when it comes up. Yo, if you like, if you want to support the channel, do it by way of hooking me up with some coffee, man. The coffee app is in the description below as well as the cash app. So hook a brother up. You know what I'm saying? These calls, you know, whoo takes time to do in today's episode we're going to be talking to who are we going to be talking to c f i y'all yes sir y'all know these big red trucks with the big c f i's on the uh on the uh on the top uh i believe it's called confederate freight something i don't know i don't know but we about to go to the bit board to find out a little bit more about the company. And we're going to see uh, see if CFI is a good company for you. Now, this company, this call right here comes by way of a subscriber uh, in one of my uh, in one of my uh, videos. He was like, yo, you know, what about CFI? Can you give them a call right quick? I'm like, yeah, I, I can do that. You know, I know a few people, you know, a few people that drives for CFI. You know what I'm saying? The YouTuber, she drives for CFI. Uh, she drives for CFI. She been driving for them for a little over a couple of months now. Um, and I, 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 I would try to get her on, you know, to, you know, see what her experience is about, but wasn't able to get a hold of her. Called her a few times. Can't get a hold of her. Why would you let your voicemail get all the way filled? That's what I want to know. At least I check my voicemail like once every week or something like that and, and clear all that out. But that's either here nor there. That's that's for that's that's for another video. So let's get into CFI, y'all. So CFI uh has opportunities for company drivers. CFI is looking for experienced solo drivers and team company truck drivers average income for solo drivers is 52 and team drivers is about 121 per team this pay rate includes base pay safety bonus and productivity pay now you know when they say uh, when they say average solo i mean it's average solo that's pretty much it so don't never get excited when a company tells you, oh, well, you know, you can make up to like $72,000 a year. You can make up to $80,000 a year. Don't fall for it. That's only average. You know, that's only average. Now, if they come to you and be like a hundred, a hundred grand or yeah, a hundred grand off the rip, then yeah, that might be something to get excited about. But 40s, uh, the low 40s to maybe about the high uh, about the high 70s is pretty much about it. And just know that you're not going to get this in the first year. All right. You might get it in the second, definitely the third possibility more so in the fourth. And then it just go on and on and on. You want to you want to elevate, not deescalate. So company drivers, uh, when you drive for CFI. You can count on practical mile pay. I like practical miles. You know, you 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 get the you you get the miles that you drive. I like that. 
uh, reliable home time. Now, during the conversation, it was kind of shaky on the home time because she said that uh, for every 14 days that you're out, you only get one day off. Uh, with regional, you have to work a full seven days to get one day off. So I'm not sure how reliable is that constant or consistent freight. Now, you know, of course, COVID hits. I did ask her what was the turnover rate. Um, what was the turnover rate? She did say it was pretty high considering, you know, COVID. So is that because they didn't, they, they, they didn't have freight to run or was that really because of drivers didn't want to drive during the, during the height of the pandemic? Uh, writer program, Northeast pay. Yes, sir. She says you get an extra five cent for going up into the Northeast, but it is a forced dispatch company. So if you do get a Northeast load, you pretty much can't turn it down, even if you're a regional driver, because she said you can't. She couldn't guarantee whether or not if we just going to stay regional. But the regional states is is pretty it's pretty wide. Uh, Dakotas, uh, Minnesota, Iowa. Uh, Kentucky, you know, those states right there, uh, you pretty much run. So that's pretty much the Midwest, which I don't think the Dakotas is part of that. I don't think so. And then I got something of a friend of mine just said, yo, don't consider Ohio a Midwest state. We're a Northeast state. I don't know, bruh. I think we can split it down the middle. You know, like one half is Northeast and then the other half is Midwest. I don't know. I, I call it Midwest. As long as I can get home every week, I'm calling it Midwest, damn it. Um, CFI performance and bonus program and electronic laws used by a full fleet. Their electronic law system is PeopleNet. And um, you don't have to. You don't have to use your phone for anything other than that. Qualifications is always 24, I mean, 21 years old to drive, reside within the hiring area, have the right to work and live in the United States, be willing to travel throughout the full 48 states and Canada for up to two to three weeks at a time. And so I guess they do go to Canada, you know. Uh, tractor trailer driving experience, no, no BACs, DUIs, DWIs, license suspensions for moving violations in the past five years. Hazmat endorsement or willing to obtain a hazmat endorsement within the 120 days of hire. So I guess there are a hazmat company and they also give you an extra three minute, uh, extra three cents for placard hazmat loads. Ability to meet work attendance, availability requirements, and all applicable legal and DOT regulations to drive a commercial truck in the United States. Ability to pass all applicable CFI certification class testing and uh, requirements. So there you have it. CFI, everybody. CFI. If you're interested in uh, in, in driving for CFI. Oh, I also didn't mention that they they do have uh for company drivers they have paying bonuses. They do have a they do have a uh, sign on bonus of 500, but if you also have your hazmat, you get an additional 500 which is paid within the first week of your paycheck. They have team driving there's owner operators mean you know they don't have their own lease purchase program. You have to come in with your own truck to be leased onto the company. Uh, student drivers, trucking 101. They offer something for military. They got something for female drivers. Um, female uh, CFI is proud to support female truck drivers. Uh, so they do they do support female truck drivers. So this is one of the companies that you know, that will look out for you. And they also have non-truck driving jobs, but you guys don't want no non-truck driving job. Y'all want a truck driving job, damn it. So that's what it is. So without further ado, y'all, we're going to jump right into the call. Hey, how's it going? Uh, may I speak with a recruiter, please? 
I can help you. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. All right. Well, that's what's up. Um, well, my name is Sean and uh, I've been driving, you know, been uh been I'm a 5-year truck driver and I was just calling to see what uh what what CFI has to offer. Okay, what state do you live in? I stay in o Ohio. Okay. So, we have over the road and we have regional positions available. Um, just one moment, okay? Okay. Sorry about that. Yeah, we have regional, we have over the road, and we have a super regional. Um, oh, super regional, regional, you're going to be out about seven to ten days at a time. Super regional, you'll be out about two weeks at a time. And then over the road, you're out two to three weeks at a time. Oh. Um, on those, you get one day off for every seven days that you're out. Mm-hmm. And then you said you have how much over the road experience? I I got about five, but um, you know, being that I'm you know just doing my research right now, you know, uh, mm -hmm. talking to different companies and stuff like that, and I appreciate you, you know, you know, giving me <clears throat> a little bit of information that uh, so I can add in to that research. Um, so thank you very much for that. Um, can you give me a mm -hmm. can, can you give me a brief background of the company? Like what do CFI actually means? Contract Freighters Incorporated. Oh, okay, okay. And how long Yeah. How long y'all been how, how long y'all been in existence? Because if I'm not mistaken, I, I talked to a driver uh maybe about two, two and a half weeks ago, and it's you guys was like uh was like incorporated with several other trucking companies as well yeah we we were in business since 1951 um we were bought out by a company called conway at one point okay and then conway sold to xpo and then now we are owned by a company out of canada um tfi out of canada okay um okay so, uh, so Con, so you guys don't have nothing to do with Conway anymore. I don't even think Conway no, is in, not any longer. I don't, even, I don't think Conway I don't think is. That, I don't even think they're in no. existence. Yeah. I don't either. I don't think they're in business either. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they. Yeah, they're. Um, they. XPO bought Conway, but they really just wanted the um, the LTL division, but they wouldn't sell just the LTL them. So then they kept, you know, CFI or Conway, the over-the-road division, for about a year, and then they sold it after that. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So, um, so you got three. So you got three opportunities for me out of Ohio: the the super, the regular, yes, and and the over over the road. Uh, all three of them. Uh -huh. I, all three of well, the re the regional one. I, I will be home every week, right? Every seven to ten days. Oh, every seven to ten days. Is that and when I come uh -huh. home, is that a full is that a full two days off or just a thirty four reset? They try to get you home to do your thirty four hour reset, otherwise it's one day for every seven. So oh. if you're out for seven days, you, you have one day. If you're out for ten days, you have one day. But uh -huh. those extra three days start adding toward the next week. Does that make sense? Okay. So if you were on the regional and you wanted to go home for two days, you'd have to be out for 14 to be able to go home for two days. But they, most of the time they try to get you home to do your 34 hour reset. doesn't always happen, but that's what they try to do. Okay. So, all right. So I'm, you gotta, you, you gotta excuse the pause. Cause I'm, I'm writing this stuff down as we go. Um, You're fine. Um, all right. So coming into orientation, uh, what, what would I, what would I, what would, how would you get me there and what more, and what might I need to bring? You would just bring, you know, your social security car, two forms of ID, basically enough stuff to keep you in the truck for, you know, a couple of weeks, um, all of your personal things. Um, then we would get you a rental car to orientation. <coughs> you have to put the fuel in it and keep the receipt. Excuse me, but then we reimburse you the fuel um, that it takes you to get to orientation. Okay. So we do car rentals, and then right now they're doing private rooms as well. With COVID, they don't make you share a room with anyone. Okay, okay. 
Well, you uh, well before COVID, y'all y'all was making people share rooms. Yeah, you have to share room unless you wanted to pay the difference for a private room. Oh, okay. So now COVID, we we get our own rooms. <laughs> right. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Um, all right. So after I get up the orientation and everything, um, you know, I fill out the. I fill out the paperwork. Now, let me ask you this. The, the paperwork, is it before I get to orientation or during orientation, like uh, pre-employment drug we screening do, and all that other stuff? You, we do your application over the phone with you, run all your reports, get your releases. Um, if you meet our qualifications, we invite you to orientation. There's other paperwork that you do during orientation. But your application and reports are ran prior, and you do your drug test while you're in orientation. Okay, drug test. Now, I, 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 I seen, I've seen some horrified YouTube videos, especially of one YouTuber getting, uh, you know, doing the doing the drug test. I take it you guys do hair follicles. We do hair follicle in the UAs both. Oh, y'all do both of them. All right, so is that like is yes, is that like if one don't work out, then y'all just work with the other or y'all just do both of them in tandem? Both of them in tandem. You have to pass both. Okay. Okay. So how far back do you guys go on the hair follicles? I believe it's at least 90 days, 90 oh. days to six months, something like that. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I've seen, uh, what if, what if people don't have, the, don't like you know they're clean shaven, body clean shaven, you know bald. You have to have some hair to do the testing. Oh okay. Yes, you do have to have some hair to do the testing. <laughs> so check this out, man. Uh, this video come by way of uh, Shape World Fifteen. You could check her out on her YouTube at Shape World Fifteen on YouTube, and her Instagram is Shape World uh, TV on Instagram. Ladies. Before you even decide to go in for these jobs, make sure you figure out whether they are doing either hair follicles or urine. Because if they do hair follicles, this is what they're going to take from you. Uh, okay. She's cutting it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Look, you're going to die when you see that. But yeah. you'll be able to cover it up. But you're going to die when you see this. If not, then they pretty much can't come in. All right. right. <laughs> what's the uh what's the pay? What's the starting pay for 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 me a 5-year driver? If we can verify a full 5 years, we start you at 46 cents a mile. And that's loaded and empty and also practical route miles. Okay, okay. Is there a sign-on bonus? Uh, there's a $500 sign-on bonus if you've never worked with us before. And then if you have hazmat already on your license, there's another $500. Oh, okay, so those two incentives, I, I, I get that right off the rip, or that's like paid over a couple of months? You get months? that on your first paycheck. Oh, okay. You get that on your first paycheck. Oh, okay. Are you guys... uh? Are you guys a 1099 company or or W2? W2. Okay. But you guys do have leasing there though, right? Uh lease options there. We don't have our own lease. Oh. Um, it's all done through third-party leasing company. Oh, okay. 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 So that means I would have to have my own truck to come in. <clears throat> yeah, I mean there's some leasing companies that we work with or that some of our drivers work with and we have one company that has their trucks on our parking lot. Um, but they're not affiliated with CFI at all. They're, we don't have any, you know, okay. any affiliation with them other than they, they have trucks that they supply to our drivers if the driver's interested. Okay. What uh, what else is paid to the driver? Like breakdown pay, holiday, detention, layover, vacation? Mm -hmm. Vacation, all of that. Um, you also get five cents extra anytime you travel in the northeastern states, Virginia, Pennsylvania, all the way to Maine. In those states, you get five cents extra per mile. If you pull a placard that has that load, you get three cents extra per mile. And then we also have a safety bonuses paid quarterly. Okay. 
Now, for people now, being that you guys pay that extra five cent to go up in the Northeast, are we are we forced dispatch to go up into the Northeast? Well, it, we are a forced dispatch. So if they send you somewhere, you know, you have to go. Oh, um, um, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. So being but, that, oh, but, but, okay. But, but that regional, that regional, the main states you're going to be in is Kansas, Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Michigan, Missouri, Ohio, Oklahoma, Minnesota, Tennessee, Wisconsin, Nebraska. Those are going to be the main states. I'm not going to say you're never going to go to any other states, but those are going to be the ones that you run in primarily. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, I'm glad that you at least being honest with that because, like, if I would have if I would have came on and I would and you would have just told me those the states that I'd be running and then the state said, yo, we need you to go up to the Northeast. Yeah, I probably might have an issue with that. <laughs> right. <laughs> I might have an issue with that. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, you already told me about the home time. Uh, for every ten days, I get one day off, and we and you guys every, every seven. Uh, uh, oh, every seven with the regional, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, it, it, any of our positions, you get one day off for every seven that you're out. Okay. Okay. What about uh? Hold on, right quick. So, what are so with that regional position? What will be my average miles a week? Um, I would probably guess anywhere between 18 to 2,400 miles, somewhere around in there. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, the equipment. Uh, of course, I've seen plenty of you guys trucks and trailers out here. But the what, what equipment, what other equipment do you guys have in your fleet? We have Kenworth T680s. Those are the trucks. Okay. Double, double bunk inside or single bunk? I don't know that answer. Let me check and see if I can find that out. Okay. I'm assuming double, but let me like see if I can find that. Uh, also, while you checking that, can you check it? Uh, can you tell me what what would be the amenities inside of the truck as well? Um, it has an inverter. That way, you can add a refrigerator if you want. So it don't so it don't come with a refrigerator. So basically basically yeah. bare bare bones pretty much. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. You still Sorry, do you have any other questions while I'm looking this? Oh, oh, okay, okay. I was, oh, okay. I was giving you time uh, while you was looking that up. Um, so yeah, like, as I was saying, uh, so bare bones truck. What about the um, what what about the computer system for our dispatches, ELDs, and stuff like that? It's people net. Oh, okay. Now, as far as okay, now let me let me stay online with that. Uh. For you guys that that asked us to use our phone for whatever reason, like you know, a broker called, they want us to download these apps to our phone and get you know so they can track us via the app. Uh, do we get any type of conversation for for you? I don't believe so. Okay. I've never I've never had anybody ask me that before. I don't I don't believe so. Okay, yeah, because you know the other companies that I have called in the past. You know, uh, one company in particular, you know, wants you to have a phone because you will receive all your dispatches via email. Uh, you know, you do all your calls and all like that. And I was asking them, like, well, if you want me to use my phone as for business purposes, do I get compensated for that? And and they was like, you know, they was like, no. And I was like, you know, I kind of I lightweight kind of had an issue with that because this is my personal phone, you know, and I'm, I'm paying the bill. So if you guys want me to use my phone other than for my own personal well, we use, use people net. Yeah, yeah. 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 Everything's done through people net. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Uh, do you guys have driver cameras in the, in the trucks? There are cameras in the truck, um, but not activated. The ones facing the, the, uh, 
tab are not activated unless there's an issue with too many, you know, too um, many close call accidents or anything like that. And then they call you in to mm -hmm. go over that with you before they turn those on. They don't just turn them on. Oh, okay. 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 That'll work. That'll work. Um, all right. So I'm not a, I'm not a fella. All right. But I do have a lot of driver buddies and a lot of people that, you know, that's coming out of my school that has felons or that has felonies on their, you know, on their background. Do you guys give do you guys give uh, drivers a chance uh, if they have a felony on their background? Everything's done by a case by case basis. So we'd have to do an application with them before we could you know, say yes or no, and some of them may have to be pre-approved, but we do look at everyone on a case-by-case -case basis. Oh, okay. All right. So I I really appreciate you uh, taking the time to, you know, giving me a little bit more insight of of what, C, <laughs> uh, what CFI is. My last question for you, uh, well, actually one other question, but my main last question is, uh, during the adversities that's going on right now in the world, you know, you got you got the situation that happened in Atlanta, the situation that happened in uh, Kenosha, Wisconsin, definitely the situation that happened up in uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota. In the light of the dangerous times, um, how do you guys go by protecting drivers uh, that's, that's, that's out there with, uh, that's going into high risk cities? You just keep communicating with your fleet manager Mm -hmm. And, you know, just like driving in bad weather, that's driver discretion. Mm -hmm. So you just keep communicating with your fleet manager. If you're uncomfortable, you would just keep communicating with them to see if there's something that they can do for you in that area. Okay. Um, you know, we want our drivers to be safe, too. Okay, that's what's up. <laughs> what's, what's you guys' policies on firearms, though? I think you have to have. The last thing I knew about that was you basically have to have a carry in every state and you physically can't do that, I don't think. So I would have to double check on that as well. Hang in just a second. Okay. Well, that's about, you know, that's about it. So I, I guess I can hold up for the uh, other two. But the the last one, what is uh, what, what does your turnover look like? Of course, it's higher now with COVID because a lot of drivers have left and decided they didn't want to be out in it. I don't know the number, mm -hmm. um, but it is a little bit higher than normal. Oh, okay. We used to have a really good turnover rate, um, but let me see if Drew can answer that. See how long it takes him to answer. <laughs> well, if he doesn't answer right away, that's that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Because I, I do know that it's a little bit higher than normal. You know, okay. with everything going on, um, we usually we usually have a pretty good rate. Okay. We used to have one of the best in the industry. You know, but things have changed. As far as your lease, over the years, as far as your lease, uh, lease program goes, uh, like you said before, uh, in order to lease on with the with the company, you have to come in with your own truck, right? Either way you look at it, yeah, you have to have your own truck. Whether you go through a leasing company, you go purchase one or, or whatever. Um, we don't offer a lease to drivers that are CFI trucks. Oh, okay. So it would be some way you would have to have a truck. Okay. All right. I have a list of leasing companies that I send to drivers when they're interested, but none of them are CFI trucks. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Well, I guess we can't get a hold of him, huh? <laughs> yeah. He's I don't know that he might be in a meeting. Usually they have meetings early in the morning. Well no, that's that's cool. That's quite all right. I mean, that's all I have for right now anyway. Um 
but I do a pre, okay. I, you know, I, I, I would take this information with me. You know, I'm in a, I'm in a social media, uh, in a social media group on Facebook and I, you know, network with other drivers, you know, getting the same mm -hmm. information that I, that I, that I get for myself. So I'll take this with me and, and well, I can share give that. you my name and number if you have any other questions. Oh um, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's fine. You can, uh, email it to me. Uh, All right. I'll get some information over to you. I'll send you some information on company, owner, operator, and the lease. I appreciate it. You can see. I appreciate that. You're very welcome. And what is your first name? My name is Sean. Okay. All right. Thank you, Sean. All right, ma'am. You take it easy now. You have a great day. You too. CFI, everybody. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, um, a good amount of information. Uh, a lot of a lot of drivers out here, including the YouTuber that I know, she drives for uh, CFI. Um, you know, she she was the she was she was on with another company and decided to come over to CFI. CFI is also one of the companies that a lot of independent. Uh, recruiters recruit for it as well you know i i get emails all the time from recruiters from dark recruiters that's telling me about you know what cfi has to offer cfi did cfi that um they're owned by a canadian company now what i should have asked her which i didn't get a chance to is do they go to canada is one of their routes to canada I'm not sure, but they do have a over the road, a super regional and a regional super regional wants you they want you to be out for like 10 to 10, like 10 weeks to two weeks at a time over the road. The same thing and regional you would get they want you to be out for seven days, seven days home too, and you only get a 34 hour reset with that so when it, the thing here's the thing with me and trucking companies they want you to be out for two weeks and be home for one day like how do that shit actually work i'm out for two weeks come home for a day and then go back out for another two weeks that don't that that you know that may sit well with with some of you guys out here you know what I'm saying? But it may not sit well with others. Uh, 47 cent to start if you're, you know, if you're a five-year driver. Uh, not sure what it is for, you know, new jacks that comes in, but it is what it is. But uh, if you guys is interested in CFI, they are, where are they located? Because that's what I, hmm, that's what I should have asked because she was telling me that uh there we go we go there she was telling me that uh that she had to come up there for orientation now before covid situation they will put you in another room with another person which i don't think that's that's kind of i don't think that's tight you know what i'm saying especially if you're a veteran driver you know you want to get up there and you want to and they put you in a room with a stranger you know, you you be sleeping in a room with a stranger, no matter what. You know, it might happen overnight or whatever. But nah, I don't think I I'm 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 cool with that. I want to be in my own room. But they said in order to be in your own room, you had to pay for it. You had to pay for it. Um, CFI, uh, located out of Joplin, Missouri. Yes, sir. Joplin, Missouri. And if you guys is interested in CFI, you guys could give them a call at 800-641-4747. That's 800 
seven. So what do you guys think of that call? Y'all, y'all think y'all think CFI will be a company that y'all might be interested in? Of course, this is a company that was that was suggested by a uh, by a subscriber, as always. You know, hook your boy up with some coffee for you know going to work for you guys. You know what I'm saying? The coffee app and the cash app is in the description below. So hook me up, man. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, I'm getting it together for you guys. You know what I'm saying? I am getting it together for you. Now, I got to go back, go back. There we go. So I am getting it together for you. They also offer leasing. So she's going to send me some information via email uh, to talk about to talk about leasing. But in other words, they don't have a lease purchase, like a lease purchase to own. Uh, for their own check, uh, for their own trucks, you will have to come in with your own truck, and then you can lease on to them. So that that idea didn't turn out to be uh, didn't turn out to be so hot. So that didn't work. But uh, CFI guys, if you interested in uh, CFI, definitely give them a call. Well, that's it, everybody, for this episode of Lockout Men Podcast, the MTC edition. Uh, definitely come back next week for another episode, uh, that's on YouTube. But if you want to catch all the episodes now, you can on your favorite podcast, including Amazon, the new Amazon podcast that just started this year. So just type in my name, Lockout Men, and you'll see all of the episodes that pops up on the, uh, on your favorite podcast, uh, on your favorite podcast platforms. Also, uh, I like to give a shout out to Trucker's Path. Yes, sir, Trucker's Path. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you download that app. That Trucker's Path app helps you out with any and everything trucking related. You can find a job. You can get routes. You can find out if parking is full. Trucker's Path, the only app that you need for truckers out here that's doing the damn thing. Trucker's Path. All right. And that's uh, I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you guys listening. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button. And if you want to support the channel by way of by way of hitting me up with some coffee, you can do that with the coffee app in the description and the cash app below. Uh, if you want me to call somebody, leave your suggestions in the comments below. And if you have any questions that you want me to ask of these these carriers let me know in the comments below and I'll, I'll try to get it out there for you guys but uh that's about it i am lockout men for lockout men podcast and you guys have a beautiful blessed day i will come back at you in another video peace searching 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 and searching and searching searching